started. So, when we're not going to describe what happens in class, but I want Rico to allow me an understanding of her when she gets back into class. So. Okay, is it general one or do I get any modifier whatsoever? General. Okay. Yeah, no mod. Uh, no. Yeah, no modifier applies. Uh, just give me a moment. D twelve. So I'm probably aware why no. people are like snarling at me or something. <laughs> Not necessarily snarling, but more like what the fuck, like, like, they look like you look, you get the impression they're looking at you as if you're not like a raving lunatic, but if you just said or did something really questionable, like if you're wearing your underwear on your head or something. Okay, I. I mean, considering everything that happened, she, at least I think, if you think that my emotional state is different, say so, but I think personally that Draco is like, considering everything else, eh, I just don't have facts to give anymore <coughs> for today. Uh, and she kind of just replaced the words that uh, Shin told her. Well, that's least something that she knew beforehand when she did the decision that some bridges will burn, some will be open. She thinks that not everybody will look at her that way. And hey, maybe shock will wear off and they okay. won't react that way. I think, it should, I think there is like a homeroom, like just a checkup before you guys go home for 15 minutes. Because I do, I do think so. Let me check. Uh, scheduling. Schedule. Uh, Home room afternoon, yeah. Tuesday? You have that for 45 minutes? Yes, it On the needs. general one, I'll say to players, there. If you look at the green one. All right, so we will need casual music. <laughs> All right. I thought so. All right, let's get some of, some of that on then for everybody apart from Dave. And somebody Wait. else who isn't in here. In the rabbit, because I know it's laggy, Lou. Okay. Okay, come on. Come on. Don't go on. Come on. Come on. Play, 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 play. Um. So, you guys, you guys will scoot on over to, to the 1A classroom. Just for your wrap up for the day. And, and uh, the Tokyo Sugihara. And, uh, well, people will start streaming in. And I guess, I guess Suzuki will shuffle in. Shen won't, he's not here. <laughs> Sugihara will be at his desk. And, hmm. so who'd come back to class first? Who's particularly diligent well i don't know if it has to do with diligent technology lab is literally <laughs> think i'll be you can put your cut out dude the technology oh. lab is literally in another building i don't think i'll be first this time all right yeah. And oh i guess I'd be coming from the gymnasium i probably would be one of the later ones too yeah i guess all right we're both uh both um, Rio and yeah. Raf are coming from technology. Is anybody else from this class in our class? I forgot. No. Okay. Okay, let's say um, that the, the tech guys come before the, the gym guys because they need to put away equipment and shit. Mm -hmm. And then. Yeah. I forgot what Kahari's lesson is. I think it's Just, technology as well. No, I think it's half and half. Either way. Uh, I guess Reiko will be one of the first people to come in then. Uh, okay. Joy. 
Wait, no, she's in athletics. She'll be one of the last people to come in then. I just wanted somebody to go in the classroom. Yeah, okay. yeah that's fine, really? but just out of curiosity, like, wouldn't I be coming from nurse office after change? Or is it... No, 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 no. no. The, yeah. The nurse's yeah. office was in your lunch break. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I guess, I guess, well, you know, right. people come in. Um, Raph, I can't remember all the exacts of it right now, but uh, basically the new bit of information he got on uh, how we can, how people gain power from how they go into the dreams, I do tell Rio that. I mean, if you want, we can try and do it real time. Or just he, he updates Rio on that. I mean, yeah, I'm just waiting for people, you know. Yeah. Right, when Echo is going to come into the classroom, you know, that's kind of what I was setting up. Got it. So, I mean, it, just on the way, he basically tells Rio of that. So, it's up to everybody, it's up to you guys if you want to do that real time or just info dump. Uh, just info dump. Okay. Mainly just with the end thing of basically, so do we tell if other people or not? We should mm. make like shared Google document where people can edit stuff like in game. <laughs> so that yeah. we have to make meetings every time somebody learns something new. Anyways, yeah, I probably come as one of the first and just. Uh, I just try to seem like reactions don't bother me. I'm like, you know waving and like smiling it will probably my smile will be like strained maybe forced even but yeah she tries to show that i mean out of character i, I don't know that my aura feels different but i she just tries to show that hey i'm still me i'm just you know grayer kind of gray skin grayer skin something whatever don't judge me so, um, to put it into perspective, in terms of peace, I'll, I'll do a tier list. Tier list of who doesn't give a fuck. My current headcanon is that my aura changed so much. Because I took a literal deal from the devil. <laughs> because Shin is the devil card. Huh? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, he's one of them. As in, like, literally give a fuck. You can emotionally give one. But, yeah. Tear list of who doesn't give <laughs> How'd I end up in the middle? How do you read? Which way we had? Uh... It's a mixture of your courage and your relationship to Yamato Damacy. Ah. Oh. So Rio actually cares a lot. Got it. Oh, well, you're, invo you're, you're involved a lot, I guess. Or er. this only. Yeah. yeah. Which? Who's high? Who's low? Akira, Akira is. Akira isn't as affected by Reiko's aura. Ryo is the very much affected out of the PCs. Okay, it's affected? Okay. Yes. Sweet. Roll my intuition. <laughs> Tell me what I feel. Alright. Do you want to add anything? Or? Hmm, I don't have anything that... I do, I'm not going to add anything to this, and I don't have a modifier yet that would help me. Wouldn't you? Don't you have you like could a have Tyra modifier would help, or a Reiko modifier? I mean, I mean, that, if you're what? reading her, <laughs> yeah, wouldn't that be understanding it? then? That yeah, it would be. But anyways, uh, what did you say, Jess? Tyra modifier? Your Heike modifier. That would help. You That's a plus fifty. I know. <laughs> you, you'd get a diminished. He doesn't okay. want to use something that big. All right. Whatever it gets diminished to, you can use that. All right. I'm for, I'm not opposed to Rio actually noticing something weird, but you know, right. I have a D6. Rio feel Rio feels 
how do I describe it? Kind of feels like he he just witnessed somebody committing suicide. You know, <laughs> okay, I meant hold like on, hold on. Oh, That's a bit harsh. As in, you know, like J- J- Japanese honor and stuff, right? You know, it's honorable to commit suicide. This is very not honorable. Dishonorable death. Oh. Dishonorable oh, wow. suicide. Oh, so like someone Literally who's literally throwing your life away. So like someone who hung themselves instead of carving their stomach open. <laughs> Somebody who decided to desert and kill themselves rather than fight on battlefield. Uh huh. I don't know if Rio would think that way, but okay. <laughs> I didn't say think. I said felt. Like mm. you know, like he's part of the audience. Right. So come across the body. Like he just—I don't know if he'd feel that way. It's hard it's a to very know. Specific feeling. Yeah, it's hard to know exactly how that feels, but I—I I get what you mean in that it's—it's it's both frightening in that. Oh it's God! It's a magical sense, not an understanding, Jack. That's yeah. nice. That's what I meant by feel. Yeah, part about my sleazy aura thingy. You yeah. said great dishonor. Yeah, I think I get what you mean. In the, it's both frightening in the sense of, oh god, this person's dead, and angering in the sense that it's dishonorable. Right? Yes. Alright, I got it. Blood boil. I if mean, you it, 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 it might. Mostly, Leo's just gonna just kind of be shocked as in, what the hell happened? I mean, Suzuki's not even trying to hide it. Like, like her pupils have the opposite of dilated when they get smaller. Yeah. Narrowed. Dilated is okay. Uh, no, wait, dil- no, wait. Oh, dilated is. Oh, I thought okay. that's when they got bigger. Dilated is when they open. They yeah. Open. Yeah. So, so they've closed. Cool. Okay. Good job. Shizuka wasn't on the tier list. Yeah. I did PC. She's of the scale. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Where's Sugihara? <laughs> He's crying in a corner. Cool Javu. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> the two is... Anyway, this is. Yeah, I, actually, I gotta admit, what is Sugihara doing? Because he's sort of. Uh, Sugihara is putting on a straight face. He is a professional teacher. Professor, no teacher. Professional teacher. Ah, I like the other version better. (laughs) Anyway. Yeah, anyways. So, who explodes on me first? Uh, I'll go. (laughs) Actually, could you also roll my... uh... Intuition, Jess. Hi. Same. All right. I mean, yeah. I, I, I mean, sort of roll all of those. Yeah. All of them. All right. Um, all right. I mean, What's car is a D eight? Probably. I think he lowered it, so. Probably. A D8. Hmm. And then he carries it a D ten. <laughs> so do. Oh yeah, sorry I'm reminding this now, but now I recollected that. Uh, did you think about my mother's name, Jess? As in... Yes. Okay. I I'm, did. So I will, when given a chance, I will edit my character sheet. You de- Reiko doesn't know in character what it is, but I oh. know what it is. Okay. Well, I guess I will have to call mother. I mean, wait, <laughs> wouldn't I remember my mother's name? She does not like, back when I used to be an XYZ. No, she yeah, didn't really... Mm. Fair, that's it's a not, fair point. It's not something you know really intrinsically. Some people yeah. like that. Alright. Alright. So. So, I mean... I guess, uh, I mean, every, I mean, it's pretty easy to tell that uh, 
Riku's changed. Like, oh well, yeah, can... no shit. I no, not like just we like physical. Physical. I know. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do not feel Ebisu at all. You feel Ebisu is fuck. We could feel gone. him before. I mean, you couldn't, but now you you feel the lack of him. You know what I mean? That's stranger than. Okay. Yes, it is strange. All right. It's almost like there's a small hole where the alcohol used to be. <laughs> <laughs> but we're pre booze, damn. Oh, well, you'll just have to get it like every other Japanese teenager off the streets <laughs> and convenience stores because they don't check IDs. Oh, I didn't. And I can imagine as as everybody walks into this into the room, they all sort of pause for a second, looking at Reiko strangely. Then sort of walk in. The next guy comes in, pauses, looks at Reiko. Yeah, I mean, Akira is more confused. I mean, kind of like a dead skunk's in the room where Reiko is. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit rude to say. Well, oh, that's when Raph comes in. <laughs> If it, if it feels if it feels disgusting to me, I kind of have to say something. It it'll, does. it'll be good. Yeah. Thanks. I'll so, probably, just before that, I will probably, you know, guys, you could say anything instead of looking at me as a particularly rotting what? piece of museum exhibition. I say that in like dry, deadpan voice. At least I try to. What? What the hell did you do? What happened to you? Oh god. Uh, I need a drink. Is this the game? I no. I like tilt my head, like place my head on like my... Like I support my head with my arm. Oh, you know, had a life-changing experience with Shin. You smell like shit. Wait. Okay, what exactly did you do with Shin? Change my persona. Why? Did Why did it happen to Ebison? I like my knuckles like twist. <sighs> Well, you were wondering why I felt so bad after those dreams. Well, in my case, a phoenix appeared uh, from Shin and showed me something that, well, you can say that it opened my eyes. Can you talk in less vagaries and just <laughs> actually answer the question? I thought, I thought I heard it correctly. I'll look at her because I... No, I mean, she's just meant it more literally. And you go, well, I, my eyes are open now, children. She was more like, what the fuck actually happened? Your character's waxing, like, fancy words at her. What the I... fuck does that mean? Uh, well, I... Uh, realized that the life I led was not to my satisfaction, and I made a choice to change it. What, what does that have to do with your persona? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> In most simplest terms, don't call me Fujiwara anymore. What? 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 So Who is... You gave up your family to be connected to Shin. That's the way to look at it, but... What the fuck? That doesn't make sense. I just feel like looking at my emotional range is, and I'm not that um, 
big and uh, uh, say well what specifically do you don't you understand I made a choice and it was my decision so I don't know why you're asking why what choice you made your you got rid of your persona Yes, it was a goddamn choice, and I took it. What's your new persona? Shut the fuck up, Raph! No, that's not important! What the fuck were you thinking? Well, if all she lost is her hair color, I don't know if it was that bad. Shut the fuck up, Ryu. <laughs> it's a little too late to care about it now, Akira. It's already <laughs> dead and done. It's too late to care? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry for not using my cold hard logic. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, if that was her choice, it's her choice. Wow, how progressive. And then what did you want to do, Akira? Have her this removed and put Ebisu back? I don't exactly think that's going to go much better. Are you even listening to her? She's not making, like, any sense. She decided that she wanted it. She more wanted to be attached to Shin than she wanted to be with her family. So she made a choice to have Shin be her, uh... Whatever the word is. What? Or in other words, Patron. I realize that life in closed families, I'm not suited for it. I'm ready for consequences, I will forge my own path. What and I detest insinuating that I didn't have choice. What the so... fuck are you talking about? Oh. He's saying you just like... Got rid of your persona because you didn't want to listen to your family? Well, I think it's more she didn't want to be a part of that connection, right? A part of her family? If you, I look to, it. If you want to simplify it that way, I guess. I really... No, there's no way that's not simplifying it, Reiko. That's what happened. Apparently. Unless I'm misunderstanding you. Excuse me, you're kind of talking vaguely. Akira, sometimes we don't necessarily want to be attached to our families. What the fuck? Fresh, shut the fuck up! What are you talking about? <laughs> sometimes we don't want, basically, to be attached to our families, legacies that they create. I'm just saying that I look at Reiko, I mean, that's Kind of what you're saying, right? You didn't like that road, so you just walked off of it? You have a right idea, yes. Walk off of it. <sighs> That's how you think that works? What the fuck? Sort of just gesture to uh, Rico. That's kind of what's going on. Look, Akira, fucking That's... great that your family life is apparently all nice and dandy. Wait, so don't shut the fuck up, Reiko. Akira, quiet. What? And Reiko's just going to look to Sugihara. And... There's a time and a place. Uh uh. Gonna stare indignantly down at her desk. Uh, well. <clears throat> We we all have our choices that we make. Mm. He'll, 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 yes, he'll. very good, Sensei. And Ryo's just gonna kind of <laughs> clap his hands once and go to his desk. And when he gets there, he'll be like, "Yes, we all have our choices, but we can't ever make anyone else's choices." The fact that you've changed some small thing doesn't change who your family is. He's just going to kind of say a bit a bit hostily as he's sitting down. 
don't think this is something small. No shit, it's not small, but apparently... I don't understand everyone's definition of what's small, not... Wait, what? What? I mean, you're all apparently casual with the idea of family doesn't matter. Oh, and apparently your own well-being. And, you know, just for whatever reason. Um. Uh, um. How long has this been going on? Can you specify what do you mean exactly? The change or my displeasure with my former lifestyle? I would go with the second, but the first is a little bit more I'm curious on. Because you didn't seem to, I mean, what it sounds like is basically that the Sunday night dream, basically, uh, God, I can't believe I'm saying this, woke you up to your condition, and then now it's Tuesday and you've already basically made the cut? If I'm in transition period, it would be like festering wound. I... I honestly don't give a damn how do you perceive that choice. If you think that I'm changed that much because of it, I'm not gonna bother, but... At the very least, I'm aware the sacrifices are rather... Wait. Look, I'm... I'm na naive most of the time, but here I'm... Yes, you uh, are! Akira, if I'm talking, if you want me no. to talk, then you might not interject. No, I don't want you to talk, apparently, because all I'm hearing just makes this situation sound even fucking stupider. Akira... Rash, shut the hell up. No, are you not saying... Akira! You are not what? the only one here that can talk, Akira. Ahem. Sensei was trying to say something. Mm. <laughs> he was before Raph started asking Reiko things again. No, I think Jeff was just cracking a cracker. It was no, she was going. Uh, oh, Shizuko yeah. then. Oh, never mind. Oh, Evan. <laughs> Thanks, Richard! <laughs> <laughs> You can just play it off as real. Yeah, stop yelling. Uh, oh, he was still doing that. Yeah, 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 yeah. He could just be like, Sensei, please say something. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's what you were doing. I was like, that's Yeah, no, he would still do that. I'm just going, oh, never mind. I was mistaken about that, but my action continues. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Akira looks at Sugihara. Everyone was looking at Sugihara at this point. He's like, oop. Uh, right, so. <laughs> How how was class? Really? <laughs> and say with all due respect, don't think class was more important than what we're talking about. <laughs> well, when it comes to free Reiko's Reiko's current state of being she has she she is up to her own discretion as to whether she wishes to share that with the rest of you or not confidentiality is something that Mariah prides itself or well, the ability to enable that anyway Okay. Thank you, Sensei, for that. Dance around the question. Are we settled? Can, are we done, Sensei? Uh, free to be dismissed? Uh, yes, you're free to be dismissed. I don't See, there's any need to keep you in till the allotted time. We've gone through our class today. Cool. Thank you. All right. 
Garrett's gonna kick out of her chair. Right like it's there. been it's been like Stop ten off. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Garrett's gonna kick out of her chair and go to get up. We'll give her a look to see how Sizzik is doing. Uh, she's still deer in the headlights. <laughs> Tap her on the shoulder and just her look like her <laughs> get out of here. Let go. Uh, right. Um, uh, she, she, she'll whisper to Akira, did you see Katsumi in class today? I forget, she didn't, did she? No. Katsumi no. wasn't at the school. Does it, yeah, no school. I thought... Someone saw her. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, she, I thought maybe she might have transferred. <laughs> uh, uh. And she'll just get to going. So, so it makes just a go holy or I mean she's just leaving either way. She wants to get out of the smelly room. Alright. Mm-hmm. Rio's also going to get up. After, you know, getting the notes, whatever, he took out for the 45 minutes, ended after 10, put those back away, get up, make his way out. Going to kind of look down at Raf and go, if you have a moment. Sure. Follow out. Follow out. Make your way over to Reiko, see how she's doing. I plan to go at the last, like, you know, dealing, dialing, waiting for everybody to fuck off and... <laughs> or we'll just kind of walk up there and go and kind of got that anxious sort of smile. Uh, so, did everything go okay with Shin, though? With Shin, yeah, I, uh, considering everything, I guess I managed to give him a little bit of happiness, considering. Uh, as with the pact we did, it's like I trust in him. I put my trust in him. Uh, well, so did you Shin, feel yes. okay with it? Uh, I mean, long story short, I don't know. Maybe I was completely blind or deluding myself that the life I'm living was fine. And when I was proven wrong, I... Uh, probably did a stupid thing, but I'm not gonna regret it. From there oh. on, there's only moving forward. Who right. knows? And I mutter to myself, maybe I shouldn't be born Japanese. Oh well. <laughs> well... Um... The, the new hair looks okay, at least. Uh, sorry, what was that? <laughs> she said... <laughs> Uh, the new hair looks nice. I'm like, uh, add gray. Hmm. Yeah, initially I thought it would go like more purple considering how Phoenix looked, but. And then I like, I pinch the bridge of my nose, like sigh, and like give like strange smile to Koharu. I'm sorry for, I guess I don't have words proper for that, but. You can guess that those past few days were a bit straining on my emotions. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. Um, I mean, if you wanted to go out or something and try to be um, busy with something else than dealing with all this, we could go somewhere in the town if you want, or if you want, we can head back to the dorm and you could get some rest. Mm, I will... I'm just gonna, like, just wander around and then get back to the dorm. Do you want to be alone or do you want to talk more? Uh, I mean, that's really sweet of you, Kohar, that you are so propo- Proposing a shoulder to lean on. I just don't want you to, you know, to force yourself to spend time with someone that. 
Oh, I'm not forcing myself. Uh, I told you. I'm just going to be here if you need me. And you look like you need me. Or at least someone. I... Yeah. Probably, yeah. Although I'm not promising that my words will be making more sense to you. That's... Although, I don't know, maybe that was Akira. Uh... Well... I mean... I... It's just a touchy subject with her still, maybe. Um... Question out of character. Reiko, does Reiko has any idea what Kohara might be referring? Uh, I don't know. I don't think Akira's ever really gone into it much with her. So no, probably not. So I tilt my head. Um, is there a particular reason why? I'm not exactly that close. And probably, considering her reaction, I might not, never will that close with her for her to share information. Oh, no. That's just she can get like that sometimes. It's been a while, I guess, though. But this is all judging up. Well. Mm. A while ago, she lost her persona. So I imagine she might just be a bit sensitive about these things. Oh. Well... <laughs> Yeah, I imagine that saying to her that, well, she lost it, but that was my conscious decision to discard it, probably won't go well with her. I mean, oh. I imagine that not that not any words will go well with her right now. Maybe not, but I would just try not to worry too much about that. You guys eh, got along before, like... right? I just give like a tired sigh, wave my hand, and say, uh, I, con con more conscious than not, I knew that what I did will, as Shin confirmed, it will, it will burn some bridges down, close some paths with some people, but some might stay open, new might open, so I guess I try to focus on positive side of things. I didn't change that much. Strange smile. Mm. Mm. Kara will smile on the inside. She's like, well, but she's not obviously saying anything. Yeah, well, yeah. well, I wouldn't abandon every bridge. It just might be a bit strange sometimes. You two got along before, right? I have key. Uh. Yeah, and then trying, like desperately trying to like somewhat lessen, like make the atmosphere less severe. And because it's Kohara, she's nice and sweet. So Reiko mm -hmm. will try to throw in a joke, and it might be bad, and she looks at Koharu. <laughs> you know, now that I thought about it, I wonder if Akira is also angry because she won't get free boost from Ebisu anymore. <laughs> okay, I see Koharu expression roll to see how convincing her laugh is, because she's like, oh, that's kind of funny. And also kind of sad. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, it sounds <laughs> legitimate at least. She'll give you the polite giggle. Yeah. If you thought it was a fake one, it doesn't seem maliciously fake. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's a like... bit of there's a bit of there's a bit of levity or brevity in there, so it's yeah, not yeah. like she's completely forcing it. Yeah, Reiko doesn't read into it. All right, good. She'll smile and she'll go right. Well, we can go wander around wherever you'd like for now. Maybe get something to eat. Uh, yeah, wandering around might be good. I mean, I don't have to do it today, but... Uh, I know what I mean. I will be forging my own path, and that means... Uh, well, living on your own terms means that you need to find a way to sustain yourself. Right. Well, we can get started on figuring out how that'll work. All right. So, gonna have to cut from there then. Yep. Yeah. See what the others are doing. Yeah. If it's gonna be a long thing, I mean, I'm just talking about the immediate aftermath. I'm not talking about the thing I'm going to do up until lunchtime. I mean, dinner time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
so Raph wanted to talk to Rio. Well, Rio wanted no, Rio. to talk to Raph. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's basically a thing. Uh, just one question before that. But uh, in my book, the uh, basically the wall in my book is a thing that I can put up that is for privacy. It's and also is like one way glass kind of, and that people don't see past it from oh, one no. direction. No, you right? can't. Though. You don't know. I mean, it'll probably filter okay. out some weaker mythopoetics, but it's not like a capsule, if you know what I mean. All right. Honestly, you don't know entirely the effectiveness. You just know that people who aren't mythopoetics, they don't see shit. Right. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. In that case, I was just going to kind of. Uh, they're gonna walk out, and Rio's going to go. I need you to do something. Okay. Obviously, everyone can tell, but you have a power. I need you to look at Reiko as she's leaving school and tell me if anything feels significant about her. I just have a feeling I want to put words to it. Your power lets you do that, yes? Yeah. All right. I just sort of spit around. I mean, I can pretty much see you're talking about Kaharu, so I just... I just... I go to discover her new distinctions. <laughs> uh, is that an attack roll? No, it's... I mean, it's... It, is it? Can't he just check with his power? Yeah. Yeah. I just, I just use the, view, the neutral I mean, variant. He... Hmm. Let me. That's just one of his powers. Isn't it? Let me think about it. Because I mean, it's all this before basically just been a passive element that I use, and then if yeah, I I'm, modify it, I'm thinking it... about. I'm thinking about scenarios when you used it on people who, not who, people who wouldn't have want you to do it if you did. Like Sin's hair is not a thing. Katsumi let you do it. Um, it was, it was like, well, I mean, I'm, you, I'm thinking about. Nobody's... I'm thinking about yeah. a, a a time in the past when I have had that happen. Well, I mean, almost every enemy I've ever had basically probably yeah. didn't want that to happen, but they didn't get a chance to avoid it. It was yeah, just on but... my roll. Yeah, he's just he's just saying, can I do the roll? No, let me think. Okay. So, okay. Okay. The times you've had it, like when you've used it in combat, it's been to lower the distinction. Right, have because you, I've used have, it. Go. And you've used it on the scene distinctions, but that's not really an active entity. I'm just trying to think of a time where I've let you use it on some clearly wouldn't have wanted you to do it. My only Rico comment doesn't is doesn't seem like she minds wanting her stuff right now, Cap. <laughs> yeah, my only comment would basically be that's specifically why I bought variations of it. Yeah. One is a negative, one is a positive, one is a neutral, and then the, my mapping capability. That's yeah, why I. That's, basically... that's like saying people would be fine with you just yeah, finding so... out what their distinctions are because you have a neutral modifier. Well, yeah, I think he. Yeah, but he just roll against. He just do the skill roll. Yeah, I. I, I mean, it's basically, if I get high, then basically I was able to bypass their natural resistance to it, and if I get low, basically, then their natural resistance overcame my ability to just peak. You would just decide the DC just on how difficult. All right, I'll make it DC yeah. based then. Yeah, that's yeah, that's. So I guess it's and down he to Matt. Doesn't even have to step it down. He could. <laughs> he I mean, I'm not. Just make his, he would just I... make his fucking. Uh, he could just take it as a D10. Rico could be none the wiser. Oh, this new distinction's cool. I mean, to be honest, I mean, unless just says otherwise. I mean, I taking the reason into... why Reiko would be against it. I mean, Reiko's in twist into D6, so yes. just go ahead and do it. <laughs> okay. Besides, as I mentioned, emotional turmoil. I didn't mean decide the DC, I mean decide whether Reiko would want it or not. Don't put okay, words Reiko into my mouth, wants, please. Nobody said that. Oh. I just get the. I'm. I'm. I'm just trying to figure. Oh wow! Out. I don't care. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. I screwed it. Oh. Bye bye, PP. Yep. Yeah. Sayonara. 
If I give it one, basically everybody runs away in terror. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> one. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Kohara's nearby. She can feel no. Raph fucking. No. Why not? We're in the same room. <laughs> Why not, why doesn't it work like that? Because you have to state that you're looking at it before you freaking roll. This anyway. has never been established. Oh, uh, Kahara is just Star in the. Raph has not has been there. Been the Raph has not been. Hey, I'm gonna use my ability, Kahara. Get ready for those favors. Oh. Wait, I'm gonna argue. No, hold on I'm a minute. I'm gonna it. fucking kill you, Jess. He's yeah, no way. I gave him from last night with Katsumi. Fuck you. I'm, oh I will completely argue that, is, that as well, that Kaharu oh needs to basically be oh forewarned and foreaware to be able to use no, her power. No, You've never hey, said anything really like that before, that. dude. I'm a portable crane, it's fine. I gave you one last night that you didn't use. Alright. Wanted to save that one, Get but this fucked. is important. I'd like to say that I really <laughs> dislike you guys shouting me down when I make a decision. Okay, but I was ignoring... Will yeah, I will but, I was, but I was succeeding. But I was succeeding the argument and explaining my new and remind, yeah. reminding Davy as a reroll. I will, however, basically completely, completely confirm that I will shout you down whenever you say something that contradicts all your other previous uh, examples. I am sorry. <laughs> Continuity is a thing. Well, I was going to say, isn't it in this situation that Raph left the same room that Kohara was in? He just I said mean, he just he's... walked back in, though. <laughs> no, he said he turned and looked in. Yeah. Oh, okay. Anyway, I, so, I don't know if I would have used my crane on that, buddy. Nah. Okay. Carl can also give me another one. Plus, I do have a real, I have a spare, so <laughs> Gar, that's the best I can do. Classmate. Wait, she gave you two cranes? No. What Before she gave me a crane, I've not used it. Then she gave me a crane specifically to use on use if Katsumi basically I need to do something with Katsumi. Oh God! You uh, still had another crane from one. You when? can't have more than one crane. Yeah. yeah, you can only have one at a time. Okay. Alright, then... That... I didn't know I could only have one at a time. Um, then, okay, let's see. Anyway. Yeah. Well, I'll get a crane from Kaharu uh, now. I use my one crane on Kaharu, since that uh, was anyways, I think this roll is done. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it, uh, uh. The the dice were were with you with the GM and not letting me do, see anything. So that is the best I got. Eighty one. A simple I mean, success. Raph There's no way you can allow it. I mean, Raph can see that one of her distinctions has changed. Job done. Yeah. It's her... And it feels very recent. Turn back to uh, Rio. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just she's so chaotic right now. Or something, but it's just I'm not getting a good beat off of her. It's, some things have changed with her, um, and it's all tied in with the turmoil. Because the other element is I'm supposed to get information based on why, what's going on, but I figure you're not going to give me any of that. It's just all jumbled up, right? Jess? You are, you're talking to Rio. Yeah, she was asking you a question at the end. Whoa, in you, you transitioned? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Can you separate the the question from the end game? Wow. Okay. Can you use it in a sentence? Yeah. <laughs> Can you use it in a sentence? Normally, song? the power. Normally, after I basically touch a distinction, you, you, I am supposed to basically learn an element about how that distinction came about. But I figure basically with the low roll and just the current conversation the way it's going, you're not going to give me any of that. So I respond with basically that. It's just basically it's so turmoilous right now that I'm not getting any kind of a read off of that. Is that correct? No, oh, TLDR, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hmm. And Rio Thus, will be like, yeah. yeah. Rio will be like, hmm. I see. Well, that's troubling. And he's just gonna kind of continue on walking. Oh, real, real quick. Yes. Does the uh, chess club have any kind of a uh, fund? Out of curiosity. And he's just going to stop, like dead in his tracks, and go, the chess club. Yeah. No, I don't believe it does. Uh, is there a way we can position or uh, get some funds? 
Yes, requisition of funds, thank you. There are always requisition forms, but what would you need funds for? Well, I was actually thinking basically maybe some funds to get some snacks for us. But also, I mean, there's some, like, books and stuff and maybe, like, you know, guest lecturers and things if we really want to basically push more into it. So it's not like there's no reason for us to have any – no money, but mainly just I'm asking if there is any money in a, in a kitty somewhere that I just didn't I will, know about. I will tell you this. That will be, frankly, impossible unless you win some kind of chess competition and bring prestige to the school. Okay. The guest lecture, at least. I would assume you have sufficient funds on your own as members to pool for snacks for yourselves. Yeah. I was just checking, basically, as I said, there's a couple of books that it w would be nice if we had, things like that. Right. But mainly, mainly this is for, I will admit, this is for the snacks, because I figured, that, you know, like a $20 allowance or something, but apparently not. No. That's not really a thing that goes into the budgets for clubs. It's just going to clubs. Stuff. And he'll be like, for clubs that don't need it. The sports teams get refreshments in the way of their energy drinks because they sweat a lot. They have equipment because it breaks down and they need it to train. The other clubs that have specific requirements get what they need. As far as chess is concerned, well, there are books in the library. You can look up lessons online, and there's only about four or five members there. Not much of a showing. If you actually do something to show that the chess club has uh, merit besides just being a social club, then yes, funding might go your way. I'm right, just curious about the situation there. Right, well, that's what it is. Thank you. I'm not going to lie, Rio's was just going to stand there for a second, flabbergasted, but the conversation switched from, oh boy, Reiko had did something bad to herself, <laughs> to, could we get snacks for chess club? Yes, I know. I just yeah. couldn't resist doing a raff. This is the most uh, depth of Raphael. Well, no, it's just the element of he cannot not talk and get things out of conversations. Right. Well, anyways. Yeah. I need Sorry, to go. probably not the uh, best time to bring things up like that. No. Anyways, I'm going to go check thing. I'm going to go check in and make sure I get some stuff done today. All right. I'll keep an eye on her if I can. If anything changes. Hmm. Well, if you see her again, tell me if something changes. No. He's just going to start stepping out. Rio's going to be going to Umberhawk. He wants to wants to do something there. He is official now, and he didn't do anything the last week to get the get the merit, so he's going to try and do that this day. So, I'm All done. Right. Alright. Uh, did Akira want to have a mini scene before she steps outside of the school? I mean, yeah. Alright. <laughs> What's your mini scene going to be about? Suzuka like actually followed her out, or if she just died inside. Yeah, she shuffled out. Um. So. Yeah, I guess that exploded. Uh, you can't say I saw that one coming. No, I, you don't normally predict things like that happening. And the. Uh... She's going to be like, um, I literally didn't see that one coming. Ah, right. Huh. That's new for you? Mm. She'll just kind of scratch her wrist and she'll shake her head. And you'll be like, remember what I told you before? Should I? Can I do an understanding roll? Because Suzuka's told Kara a lot of crazy shit. Yeah. Okay. Can, can I spend that like intuition for a cure to be like, oh shit? Got to sort through my things. Suzuka has told me that are vitally important, dude. Ah, does this fall under my Suzuka crazy modifier? <laughs> I thought it was Suzuka lying modifier. Oh, yeah, it was. It's like understanding Suzuka modifier. 
Yeah, yeah, I'll just do these. Yeah, I got me. You could have, you should have named it Suzukaism. Yeah. Anyway, and I can change it. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> All right. What do I got with that fan? What was she specifically referring to? All right. She sees things surrounding other people, that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, these things. Like she the after images. Right, yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of what she meant when it's like, this is a new one. Like, you hadn't seen it after. You haven't seen, like, a... a, a, a I, she, uh, ha- she hasn't seen a ver- Dark a Knight or Echo, yeah. Yeah, that's what, that's what Kira meant. Okay, good, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's kind of what I was getting. So, uh, wow, that's fucking awful. Uh... I mean, I guess she made a new time, not timeline, that's uh, Doctor Who. Earth, isn't it? Mm, n- no, I mean, our perceptions change based on where we are. So it's not like she made a, I mean, she probably made a couple more theoretically, but this one right now hasn't changed. I just, uh, so you know like what I mean? Deal perspective somewhere yeah i can't see into the future yeah that'd be really scary to do that's fine you can Mm. see like sideways yeah i imagine it was scary which is why things happen but anyway (laughs) yeah uh i'll let that one sit for now you got a lot else to deal. We got a lot else to deal with right now. We, uh, I mean, just you know, with how uh, it goes gonna be now. Um, yeah, I think the problem is whether you want to use to tread all over tradition or not. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? When you say we have to do something, uh... I just meant, like... She's gonna be different now. Mm. Not anything proactive. Like, how is she gonna act now? I, I don't think she's changed mentally. Just... Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. You could, I mean, you could tell, right? Oh. oh, yeah, I don't like it. It's really bad. How's it but, for you? Well, uh, I'm kind of used to the whole magic thing. Like, growing up around magic and stuff. So it's. Does that make it more pungent or less? I can deal with it, but I'm not involved in the bloodlines. So take that as you will. Right, right. I mean, I guess that's probably the only reason I get a whiff of it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you're not involved in the. In the in in the history, and well, you've got you've got well st- stronger stronger DNA heritage. Yeah, you know, yeah. like you come from more than just one place. You're 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 heterogeneative. Huh. Why? Thank you. That's the in- most interesting compliment I've ever heard. Oh, oh. Well, yeah. the po- the point is that a Japan thing isn't going to affect you as much if you're half Japanese. Mm. It will affect you half as much. So uh, that means it's going to be pretty bad for some people. Yeah. Y- yeah. Y- yeah. You probably should. I mean, 
someone's got to give Katsuma a heads up before. Uh, she was at the dorm last night. I think. Oh, she I got know. Up. She got that. I know they're mad at each other, but who would think this would be the next step? Unless that's literally what they were talking about. Uh, Reiko may have said that she was going to see the phoenix the next day. <laughs> Quite literally. <sighs> you, you, you didn't hear it, but, you know, I kind of, it was hard, kind of hard not to hear everything. Especially right. when Reiko was shouting. Right. Great. What? I mean, why? <sighs> why did she do that to herself? I didn't realize she disliked it so much. I mean, I admit it's it's like training in the mountains to be a monk in the modern era. I mean, you're going to get calluses and stuff. It's gonna hurt. Yeah, you gotta work in life. Not everything about your family's perfect, but I don't know. And to lose her persona off of this. Mm. Um. Well, um, and she'll just kind of look towards the um look towards the outside gate and she'll be like oh uh, Carol look all right so what's Ryu going to do what he does every Tuesday which is kendo practice or the kendo club we got right. out we got out about a half hour early though all right so well yeah it's been so um before before I guess you'd be making your way there anyway, maybe to set up and stuff. Probably. You notice that um there's a quite a few people gathering in the in the in the in the hallways. Like you see some like they're like opening their classrooms and they're they're going up to the windows because I imagine there's like windows around the building. <laughs> and then it's like the building. Building. I don't know about that. All right, Ryu will uh, see what they're looking at. And uh, you'll just kind of hear a voice beside you saying that, uh, huh, it looks like she's really serious this time then. I wonder what happened. Oh, crap. Oh, nothing good can come of this. So what's outside the window? All right, so in the distance, there is a, a lone figure dressed head to toe in traditional, Jap like a traditional kimono, but it's got like, um, it's got plated armor on as well. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're, they're wielding a familiar looking two handed sword. Like it's it's besides their waist in the thing. And she's and the person's just standing there waiting. And behind that person you'll see the familiar figure of minimum. Let me change the music. Where where is the cheat? Oh there we go. Mm. That's why I wasn't hearing anything. All right, so now we can go back to Kaharu and Reiko. <laughs> Just on a note, the moment Ryu sees this, he is going to rush to the courtyard. All right. We'll get there in time. So we're going back to Kaharu and Reiko. Kaharu and Akira? Oh, no, yeah, that's right. Kaharu and Reiko. Sorry. Yeah. That would be a bitch conversation to do. Kaharu and uh, Akira. Yeah, that's what we're not doing those anymore. <laughs> yeah. I just have no idea, like, when we transition back, I don't know what I can be talking about. 
And so they were walking out of the school by now, right? They're walking towards the exit. Yes, you can kind of see that like, people have. Then, like, usually people are walking about, but there's like a straight, clear path. <laughs> Ty it's, not, it's not like they're, they're it's not like they're waiting in like uh, my honor. It's just like they're like you know how people gather to see a fight. No, this is Robert Yeah, I got yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. And there's Kaharu's... a lot of there's a lot of chatter. It's very noisy. I mean, Kaharu is a bit rumbling. confused. I still look around. Like, oh no, do we is there an accident? Do we can we not leave school? I mean I know that's the pizza I recollect her last words I had from Katsumi. I just like sigh. Lower my head. Kohar, can I ask you for a favor? Um a literal one or figurative. Don't interfere. <laughs> what? <Right. laughs> I think I know what this is about. Not looking forward to it, but hey, a consequence of my choice. I'm not gonna step back from it. No regrets. Um, okay. Um, are you sure about that? I have to be. Look, if not today, I will have to deal with this sooner or later, and as with my choice, I'd rather do.